Hello yet again, and welcome back. It's time to play another 8-bit masterpiece, so let's begin. This is Metro City. Within the walls of this city lives... The daughter of the mayor, Jessica. Her beauty radi... You gotta love this. <laughs> Radiates throughout the city and gives the citizens the... The... Power to survive. Now, a villain attempts to have... This beacon of light all to himself. Oh man, the suspense is killing me. I can't believe that I've actually fallen in love. <laughs> With the girl, she will be mine. Well, at least his motives are true. A couple days later... What? Jessica kidnapped? Look at Guy and Cody back there. What have you done to her, Cody? <laughs> Blame the boyfriend. Always blame the boyfriend. Me? This is the work of the Mad Gear Gang. What do you think, Gay? <laughs> I love that his name is Guy. Yes, there's not a moment to spare. Let's go. And now we get to see the awesome title screen for this awesome game that is Mighty Final Fight. Look at that. Capcom 1993. Let's begin. So we get to choose between... Uh, all th any any one of the three main characters, which is pretty cool. I don't think that any of the SNES games, um, even, you know, the later ones have multiplayer, which this one does not, but I don't think any of them have the have the three characters. So you got Cody, who's uh, Jessica's boyfriend, Guy, who's his training partner, and Hagar, who is the mayor and also, also Jessica's father. Um, they all have different attributes. Um, Hagar is the strongest, and uh, Guy is the fastest and Cody is somewhere in between um, but I like Guy the best because he's got that sweet pink uniform on he's a master of ninjutsu and uh, he also has um, uh, it requires the least amount of experience to level him up so another thing that this game has that the other Final Fight games don't is, is a, a leveling up system at least I think the other ones don't I'm not I'm not a super uh, not super versed in in the SNES Final Fight games. Those are some games that I don't that I don't actually own, um, but I own this one. So um, yeah, so you, you you get to level your character up as you as you go along, which is pretty cool, and you unlock um, more powerful moves as you go on. Now there's a whole bunch of moves uh, in this game, and the controls are actually really good. There's a different there's different. Uh, different moves based on like what way you're pressing the d-pad when when you grab people and things like that so I'll try and show you them all for guy and each character has their own unique moves and they're kind of like um, uh, Street Fighter moves like I think you know Final Fight and Street Fighter are like in the same universe I think because there's all those crossovers and stuff um, but anyway yeah you see there he, uh, guy basically does the flash kick and um, Cody has like uh, a move that's really similar to Hadouken, and he also uh, he he basically throws uh, his like his like finishing move on the combo is basically a Shuriken, like the uppercut I mean, and uh, so that's pretty cool. Lots of cool moves. I also like that um, whenever you come across an enemy, it shows you their their life bar. Um, so I just leveled up there, so now I'm level two already, which is pretty sweet. So yeah, you know how much um, how much health each guy has left, um, and uh, you'll find that pretty useful as you go throughout the game. I've never actually beaten this before, but I've made it to the final boss, and I think that now with a little bit of practice, I could beat the final boss. So this is just a bonus area. You got to smash as many of the uh, as many of the barrels as you can, and now I've got some throwing stars. The first few times I played this, I didn't know that that was a, uh, a bonus area. I was like just jumping them, trying not to get hit. But there's um, there's health in there, and there's lives and continues and stuff. It's pretty sweet. Oh man. So this is the first beat 'em up I've done on this uh, on this series that I'm that I'm doing, and uh, still a side scroller though. So you can tell I love side scrollers. And I leveled up again, just like that. I'm already level three. Time for boss one. The bosses are pretty funny too. Heh, <laughs> heh. 
I am Thrasher, ruler of this city. Bow down before me. No way. Wah. Don't you know I rule the streets? No. Ah. Those who offend me must die. I love that they give you choices. I've actually never selected the other choices. I'm not sure what uh, what happens if you do. But uh, there's a there's a boss later on where he like offers you some water, and if you say yes, he just gives you the water, and it gives you some health. And he's like, all right, now let's fight. <laughs> Which is awesome. Come here. Come here, friend. Oh, yeah. Don't get too close when they fall down. The jump kick is pretty key. You can kind of keep your distance and just jump kick them. I don't know he's doing that. I like to basically stay out of the way. But if you stand next to him like I did there before, while he's, while he's getting up, he'll just smash you in the head a bunch of times. Another nice thing about this game is you get five lives per continue, which is pretty nice. You don't, you don't see too many NES games that give you five lives. Almost there. What's he gonna do now? This game really reminds me of River City Ransom too. Like I think it looks a lot like River City Ransom. Which is another great game. I'll do that one at some point. There we go. Dead. Round one clear. Alright. That was the slum. Now it's onto Riverside. The graphics are awesome too. Oh yeah, okay, see these guys, the mustached guys with the, uh, with the, with the, with the toques on? They have knives, so kill them first, whenever possible, or else they'll start throwing knives and stabbing you and stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, they can do the ground slide thing. Um, but yeah, if they get too close to you, he'll just, he'll just stick you with a knife. It's pretty, uh, pretty violent. And he, man, that guy, it's like, he has so many moves, and now we, now we just get to beat up on, on girls too, like. Back in the day, nobody cared at all. The game developers were just ruthless. But it's not like these girls are underpowered. They do serious damage. So I think it's pretty cool, actually. I like these guys, too. They're just, like, wearing a cape. <laughs> for these guys, for these larger guys that block all the time, if you just wait... If, if he's blocking and you just, um, you have to sort of wait for a second. Like, he'll put his guard down, and as soon as he puts his guard down, after you've, like, hit him and he put his guard up, as soon as he puts his guard down, um, then you can hit him. And, uh, it just takes a little bit of timing practice. Another good move is the throw, so if you're close, um, and you press up on the, on the D-pad, just like that, you'll throw him over your shoulder and it does a lot of damage. Of course, all the, all the characters have a different uh, a different move like that. Yeah. And you can throw guys into other guys, which is pretty pretty satisfying. Get over there. So there's a little secret at the end of the game. Um, you only see the credits if you beat the game without continuing, and I highly doubt that that's going to happen. So we're probably not going to see the credits, but that's a little hidden Easter egg in this game. Is uh, the credit reel at the end. See that? Yeah, throw a guy into another guy. Nothing better than that. Alright. Now there's only five stages, but the stages are pretty long, and uh, the bosses are not not super not easy. You know, not super easy. Like the only gripes I would have with this game is that there could be more stages, um, but it is it does feel pretty long to play, even though it's only five stages. And, um, and the other one is that the bosses some like a couple of the bosses get repeated, which is kind of annoying. But uh, other than that. I have nothing bad to say. It's actually one of the better, more fun beat-em-ups that I've ever played. Like, I think this this game is um, infinitely more fun than the, the first Final Fight on Super Nintendo. That one's just kind of clunky, and I don't really like that one very much. Come here, caped man. 
I'm gonna throw him too much. Bang. Oh yeah, so if you walk into a player, into an enemy like this, uh, if he doesn't punch you in the gut, uh, you lock up like we did there. And if you lock up, uh, you're gonna not get attacked. It's kind of dangerous to do, I guess. But if you lock up and press B, um, he'll do a bunch of knee attacks. I'm almost dead. Okay, so I've died, but it's kind of like contrary. You just you come right back, and when you when you get when you get um, brought back into the game, everybody falls down, and you're invincible for a short period of time, so you can get some hits in on on uh, on enemies. Oh, jeez, these guys are don't I really don't like these guys. They have a huge life bar, and they do that charge and chuck thing. Also, if you if you do play this game and you find it um, uh, too difficult, you can. There's a little cheat you can do. Um, if you if you start the game, um, I think you start the game in, as, as Hagger, and then if you die three times in a row, um, you can start over and choose Cody or Guy, and you'll have the strength of of Hagger, um, which is it's kind of a neat little. Uh, Easter egg cheat in the game. All right, so you see that we got a, we got a nice pork chop and and uh, and some throwing stars out of those barrels. Hmm. There he is. Throw the throwing stars at the knife man. All right, I've leveled up. See that? Fortunately, I kicked his knife out of the air. But that doesn't often happen that way. Jump kicks for days. I really want to do the knee thing. Alright, it's not going to happen on this guy though. Double sworded man. You're too fat and lazy to oppose me. Big mouth, little sword. Tell me what you know, or I'll clobber you. Are you done flapping those lips of yours? <laughs> Good. Because I'm going to chop you down to size. Fantastic. So with this guy, you can jump kick him, but it's kind of hard to be successful. But when he does that charge thing, if you sort of come at him at the, from the side and, uh, and time it right, you can, you can punch him a bunch. But if you wait too long, he'll just, he'll just slice you. And if you're right in front of him, he'll basically just slice you. Well, that's my strategy. Doing the throw is pretty, is pretty good. Alright, I might... Whoa, that was close. Boom. That's never happened before. I've never been not hit by that guy. Alright. Off to a good start. Oh, bonus stage. Barrels. Punch as many barrels as possible. Yeah, it's kind of hard to hit the bouncing ones. If you do well enough here, they give you an extra continue. Come on. What did I get? Yes, I got a continue. Fantastic. Might need that later on. Alright, over to Old Town. Oh yeah, now we got to worry about holes in the ground. Oh yeah, so now I'm level 4 and I can do the... The sweet kick combo. Bang. Roundhouse to sidekick. Spinning sidekick. No, no. Don't don't you hit me. The holes are nice, though. You can throw guys into the hole, which is pretty cool. There we go. Get down the old hole there. Oh, knife man. Focus on knife man. Throw him down the hole. <laughs> awesome. Alright, go. Off we go. Oh, that was close. Come on down here so I can throw you in the hole. Fantastic. I love that. You too, Mr. Purple. Oh, see that? Like... <laughs> 
<laughs> he just comes up from the side and sticks me with a knife. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, now I'm dead. I thought I was dead. <laughs> I was too busy laughing at that. He's like, he's like hey. <laughs> just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Stabs me. Cold. Ice cold. Those guys. He's a strong one, too. I better throw him down the hole. Throw her into, throw him into the girl. I also like the like the chibi art style. Like sometimes the the chibi thing is done, just overdone. You know, a lot of things are chibi these days, but I do really like this one. Boom! Big sidekick. All right, more knife. Oh, jeez. I kill the knife man. And that, like the animation is just awesome. Like, you punch that guy in the head, you punch that guy, and he's like, "Oh no!" And his eyes get all big, and his his toque is popping off of his head. The attention to detail is just like this is a masterpiece. Come in. Oh, I really like to do the knee thing. Yeah, there we go. So this game, you know, just like every beat em up, has has a move where it's a really powerful move, but it hurts you to do. So you just never end up doing it. I never understood that. Like, why did he? Why even include it? Because you're just inclined to not use it, even though it's awesome. Um, fortunately, I can show it to you. Uh, it only hurts you if you hit somebody with it. Um, but it's this cool like tornado whirl kick thing, hurricane kick thing in my bob. I'll show you in a second once, once the coast is clear. I'm sure I'll do it by accident at some point too, that happens a lot. Nope. Oh, I knew he was gonna do that. Alright, so it looks like this. Oh no, okay. Well cutscene. Can't do it now. There we go. Oh, that's that jump spin kick thing. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's good for getting like a bunch of guys off your back. And if you're just going to take hits anyway, you might as well use it. But you just don't think to use it because it hurts you. I just don't understand that. Such a classic thing in beat em ups. Move variety makes this pretty fun to play, I gotta say. Throw him into a guy. Like the moves are so easy to pull off. Like the controls are the controls work really well. Alright. Gonna be getting close to the end of this stage. Oh, barrel time? Barrel time, yeah. Don't hit me. Uh, Alright, throwing stars is good. Full health on throwing stars. You can't ask ask for much more than that. Stay away from me. That was pretty successful. Now you might think that uh, Cody is better to use because he's got that Hadouken thing. Um, so like, you basically always have a projectile. Uh, but it takes a long time for him to throw it. Like he, he kind of winds up and, uh, before he throws it. And so it takes a, it takes a long time to actually do it. And because of that, it's kind of, it's not quite as useful as you might think. So it calls for a certain situation. All right. All right. Down the hole. Oh yeah, I'm Abigail, <laughs> the toughest fighter in the Mad Gear. You've been lucky so far, but your luck has just run out. The others look tougher than you, jerk. I'm gonna shove those words down your throat. All right, with this guy, he he just he walks over slowly, and oh no, he kissed me. <laughs> oh no. So when he oh, okay, 
All right. All right. There we go. Okay, so you can jump kick him uh, if, you're, if your timing is good. A lot of the time it's not, though, and you get uppercutted. So when he does that, if you dodge it, then, then, then hit him. That's the way to do it. Uh. Yeah. If I could salvage this life, that'd be sweet. Oh, stay away, stay away. Oh yeah, big throw. No, don't, don't get too close or he'll kiss you. He'll kiss ya. He'll kiss you big time. No, oh, no, dang it. He hit me. But now's my opportunity to get some more hits on him. There we go. Get that little bit of... Oh no. Thought I could land a jump kick. I thought wrong. Almost there. Oh, that was close. Stay away from me. No, 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 no. Oh, oh no, he's got me in a corner. Die. I will not die again. Oh, that was risky. Yes! Fantastic. Round three, clear. Oh, if I could get another life out of a barrel, that'd be good. Over to the factory, round four. At least get to level five before getting game over. That would be, that'd be really nice. I've actually never made it to level six. I don't think you can do it without getting a game over. I mean, w with getting a game over, I mean. That's so great when you can throw guys over your shoulder. And like, you can decide at the last second how you're gonna end the, the punch combo. And so a guy appears behind you, you just decide the right moment to throw the guy over your shoulder instead of doing the flash kick. The controls are just so good. I also really like that you can hit more than you hit more than one guy at once. That's pretty key. Sometimes they don't do that. It's not so good. Defense, I must say. Come on, man. Put your guard down for a sec. Okay. Oh, there's another move I haven't done yet. It's the elbow drop. There we go. guy. Come on, friend. Let's finish this fight. It's our mighty final fight. No. That'll teach me to walk up to a guy and start doing a spinning sidekick. Just punch you. He'll just punch you. Look out behind you! So you can fall off the elevator, so be careful. But you can kick other people off the elevator, which is great news. Get out of here. Oh no. The knife. The knifing. Throw her. Oh, that was lucky. The key here is throwing, for sure. Oh no. And staying away from the edge as best as you can. Oh no, did I die? Not quite. Oh no, I jumped off the edge. I was basically dead anyway. Oh man. Come on, get off the edge. Get out of here. Fall. Yes. No, no, he's gonna do something. Oh, that was close. 
let those knifey guys go for too long, you're in trouble. All right, nice little pork chop there for some for some healthage, and we're not quite done yet. Oh no, pink knife guys, they're the worst kind. It's kind of like Ninja Turtles when you see pink foot clan guys, you're like, oh no, the pink ones are the worst. I like that guy just hanging over the bar at the other, in the background. He doesn't even care. There's all this madness happening behind him. That guy needs some help. <laughs> I just love that. That guy's face is pretty funny, too. It's like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> His uh, little smile. See, this guy, we, we, get, we get a pallet swap. We gotta fight him again. You look a little run down. Here, have some water? Sure. I feel refreshed and strengthened. Ready? <laughs> That's so awesome. Get away from me. So, basically, the same thing still applies, although he's much stronger. Oh, see, I waited too long. He's a little more aggressive. Oh, jeez. See, this guy, I don't like this guy so, so much. And I think, I'm pretty sure it's this one, when you get him down to half half health, he, uh, he, throws his, he throws his swords away and then starts doing this crazy charge attack. So we'll see if that's, that does happen here. Could you please stay away? Okay, I'm landing, I'm landing jump kicks, that's good. Oh, too close. Too close, man. Let's see, is he gonna throw it? Yeah. Okay, careful, careful. Oh, jeez. I gotta kill him, I gotta kill him. I do not wanna do this stage over again. Oh man, that was too far away. Oh no. See, this is kinda ruthless. Oh, oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. Okay, continue. Let's continue. Okay. That sucks. I didn't get my... I didn't level up either. That's a bummer. Oh, well. Had to know that was going to happen sooner or later. Took the wind out of my sails a little bit. I guess we won't be seeing the credits. I really didn't expect to make it through without continuing. Would have been sweet to get to the final stage though. Get away. Crazy boxing guys. No, I need to focus. Focus my power. This game had uh, this game had two player. Man, it would go down in history. It's one of the best games ever on the NES. Anyway, it's still great. I mean, like, it's uh, if you want a two player beat 'em up that is comparable to this, it's River City Ransom for sure. All right, continuing on. me like that. I don't like it. I'm really tired of these these garden dudes. Got him. Finally. 
No, don't punch me. Don't punch me while I'm doing my kicks. It's rude. This guy's almost dead. Oh man. Ruthless with the gut punch. Okay, I have to go through the through the elevator again, I guess. Which sucks, man, I forgot about that. It's also pretty important to... Uh, I was about to say, it's pretty important to keep moving after you've killed someone because they fall from the ceiling. And then I just got hit from a guy falling from the ceiling. The knifing needs to stop. Okay, keep moving. Uh, oh, see, there he is. Dang it. Oh, man, she kicked me down the hole. Savage. hilarious. Don't scratch me. Oh, man. Yes. That was good. Look out. Uh, this might be the last guy. Yes, it was. Good. Pork chop. Fantastic. Okay. More pink guys. Back, back here again. If you don't move too far ahead, you can... That guy will just watch for a while. Oh. The knifing, though. And now we'll go... Oh, I'll just leave him there. Since Mr. Cape, Caped Man over here decided to join the party. It's always better to fight one guy at a time. Alright, now we can fight you. Oh, of course. Of course. The elbow drop is pretty cool, too. Oh, that was cool. Big elbow drop into a throw. Oh, no, I'm stuck between two people. Okay, alright, we're back at the boss. Oh, he's gonna give me water, isn't he? Good. Some water? I would love some water. Thank you. Okay, get away from me. Uh. Big throw. Good. If you jump kick at him, he sort of backs off. This charge attack, which is oh good. It's going better this time. Oh, spoke too soon. Almost to halfway. Almost halfway to Murder Town. There we go. I should do it. Okay, careful, careful. Oh, he's so fast. Okay, I gotta make sure I get close enough to him. He waits a good long time. Okay, good. Just be more patient. Just be more patient, that's all. Dead. One more throw. Got him. Alright, good. Off to the final stage. Hopefully we can get to level 5. Oh, good bonus stage. Hooray. Faster. So far, no bouncing ones, though. Focus power. Oh, man, perfect. I've never got that before. What does perfect give me? Two up. Oh, sweet. Got two lives out of it. That is fantastic. 
All right, that gives me a much better chance of, of leveling again. Final stage. Time to go get Jessica back. Doing all the work for Cody. Chested beach man. I wonder if there's a, I wonder if there's ever been a Final Fight movie. That'd be sweet. Oh man, that's a big life bar in this guy. Don't stand a chance against guy. I'll be so excited if I actually beat this. Doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like it's gonna be an insurmountable task. too. The hairdos in this game are top-notch hairdos. Top 10 8-bit hairdos. Oh. Did the, did the uh, tornado kick by accident. Oh. That was close. Oh. Big dodge. See, this is just more fun to play than a lot of beat-em-ups. I gotta say. Go for the knife man first. Make sure he's Occupied, or else you're getting knifed. Hmm. Gotta keep that knife man occupied. Come on. Okay, one of them's dead. There's knife man, that's good. Oh, of course, there's another knife man. The health bars are huge. Kill the knife man. I'd like to keep this guy away while I fight the knife guy. Oh, big kick. Big kick. I don't like that. Better than getting stuck with a knife, though. Man, I haven't even done, I have done no damage to this guy yet. Throw him into the knife guy. Yeah. Man. He's too good. There we go. Thank goodness. Can't, I can't get over the faces. When, when you're hitting them. They just look so surprised. Oh yeah, get to fight this guy again. You're no match for me. Ready? I am ready. Get away from me. Oh, too close. You're too close, man. Oh no, he kissed me. Oh no. Oh. That was unfortunate. No! Okay, I'm not I'm not doing well. Okay, do your punch thing. Better. See what you want to do is jump kick, but don't get too close. So he backs up and does his charge punch thing. Oh, oh no. Okay. Perfect. Nope. Not quite. 
No, okay. I don't like that uppercut, man. I don't like when you do it. Dead? Not quite. Not quite. One more. Yes. Dead. Fantastic. An apple. Good. Hmm. It's a nice looking pool. Oh, dang it. Throw quickly. I wish I could throw him into the pool. Oh man, they're punching me so much. So, uh, as I was saying before about this game being rare and expensive, um, you're in luck though. If you want to play it and you want to play it on a cartridge, this is one of those games that's rare in North America but cheap in Japan. To import just a cartridge of this game from um, from Japan on, on Famicom is like maybe 30 or 40 bucks. So not not too bad. And you know you don't need to don't need to be able to read Japanese to play it. Obviously. So that's pretty cool. You gotta love when that happens. It's always so disappointing when you're like, hmm, I wonder if this game's cheaper in Japan. And then it's not, it's like way more expensive. No, don't punch me like that. Okay, I need to, I need to really focus here, because if not, I'm going to have to do this level all over again. Good, I leveled. Thank goodness. Now I'm a little bit stronger. for knife man oh good knife man is dead safe from knife man once again no don't you don't you punch me like that Throw a knife man into you. Wow. Okay. See what I mean about those knife guys? Really gotta focus on those guys. Okay, now I get to fight this guy again. Your journey ends here. No, no it doesn't. No it doesn't. Not if I have anything to say about it. Would be ideal. Do the charge. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's going to do the thing again. Yes, that went so well. Okay, final boss. Final boss area, anyway. Is it the final boss? Yes, it is. Okay. You're the boss? Where's Jessica? Relax. Jessica is my special guest. She's in the next room. Jessica and I are scheduled to be married tomorrow. <laughs> Let us begin our final fight. He said the thing. Say, you... You hit him a bunch of times and then he's like, Final victory will be mine. Okay, so you want to be... You want to jump over the things but not get too close to him or else he does the charge punch thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, dang it. Okay. Okay. Get over there. Yes. That's what you want to do. Get him while he's laughing. <sighs> Run over. Run over and hit him. Jump his things. Hang out up here. Run over. He laughs for a while. Oh, man. Okay, one more life. 
Okay, okay, okay. No, no, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Run, run. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, I gotta be closer. I gotta be closer than that. Okay. No, no, I, oh, I didn't do the throw. I wanted to do the throw. Come on. Come on. Do the throw. Okay, the kick is, is good. Not quite as good as the throw. Oh no! Almost there. Almost there. Oh no! Okay. Okay, this is serious. I must focus. Okay, maybe you can't throw this guy. <clears throat> Please die. Come on, please. Yes! Yes! Victory! Oh, thank goodness. I was so close to being dead. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. My heart, it pounds. It pounds for Jessica. Oh, here's Hagar. Oh, man. Oh, Jessica's okay. I've never seen this before. Dad, it's about time you got here. Sorry, Princess. I needed to take out the trash. Guy did all the work, though. Dad, where's Cody? Cody? I lost sight of him on my way here. Oh, way to go, Dad. Let go of me, guy. Without my help, she would be... Control yourself. Let the mayor and Jessica talk. For once in your life, think of someone else. Besides yourself. Let go of me. End. <laughs> E-N-D spells end. Well, that is a fantastic game. Hey, look, there's Mega Man. There's Mega Man on a billboard out there. That is awesome. Wow. Okay, well, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did, because that was awesome. But anyway, if you like it, you know, hit the like button, all that good stuff. Anyway, we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot.